that access point because of the person that you know or because you're male or because you know you have this job you're just sitting there as a kid watching this movie and suddenly being exposed to an idea that makes you think oh I want to be a pilot I want to be an astronaut I want to be the person who creates this cure I want these different things and that's why censorship and all these things is really actually quite detrimental to us because some of that first dialogue that actually happens is in that exposure to different ideas and not ideas that you were just perfectly getting disseminated through your education through your family through your friends through your community because that's still really isolated from what the global conversation is and we are a global world specifically because we're utilizing all of the technologies around us to talk about our past Past and explore that past to, to promote what the future could look like. We had tablets on screen before we had tablets in real life. Mm. You know, as we're starting to get into AI and we're starting to look at what that could possibly mean, is that a good thing that there's a Saudi Arabian robot while we're also criminalizing human beings who are refugees and climate refugees? You know, like, and it starts those dialogues before it even happens so that we can be prepared for what's coming. So. I don't know necessarily, to kind of, you know, to talk about what media, I don't know necessarily they're always doing it the right way. I don't think that there is necessarily a right way. I think it just, we just need to be able to continue to push for access for everyone, to be able to have um, the opportunity to challenge and have a dialogue. Because as you're saying, there is no one right answer. But having as many people being exposed to as much information as possible, and not in a way where it is censored or it's, or it's um, curtailed, because... Um, what you end up having, having then is these sort of isolated chambers.